Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about this uh, very simple yet beautiful question and this question says that x raised to power x square minus 5x plus 6 and that's equals to 1. Now here uh, there will be multiple solutions to this question and how we need to approach this problem that we need to understand first. So the basic principle is that whenever any number which is an expon exponential number has some power is equals to 1. So for this, for understanding this, you can write it in this format. Whenever you have a raised to power b and that is equals to 1. So generally people do assume that okay, in this situation a will be 1. But that is only one of the solution. Otherwise, there are multiple other solutions as well that we need to take care. So here one solution is undoubtedly a equals to 1. Uh, where b must not be equals to 0. Uh, so, okay. Now, the second solution is that here there could be next possibility that a could be equals to uh, like minus 1. This is also one of the possibility because whenever a equals to minus 1 and at that time your b is even. So this possibility is also possible which will satisfy this that number is going to be 1. And then the third possibility is that your exponent should can be 0. So whenever your exponent is 0, at this time you have to only take care that a should not be equals to 0 because 0 raised to power 0 will not give you 1. So in these th three possibilities, you will get the output as 1. So you'll have to solve for all these three possibilities to get the answer. So for solving the first possibility a equals to 1, like I have, we have got this x raised to power x square minus 5x plus 6, and that is equals to 1. So a equals to 1 means base equals to 1. So base equals to 1, that is simply x equals to 1. Now second is base is minus 1, and at that time we have to see that the power should be even. So let's check that if x equals to minus 1, what is the value what we are getting for this x square minus 5x, x square minus 5x plus 6. So here if I put x equals to minus 1, minus 1, I'll get minus 1 square and minus 5 into minus 1 and plus 6. So we have got a 1 plus 5 plus 6 and that is equals to 12. So it's a surely an even number. Means x equals to minus 1 is also one of the solution. x equals to 1 is also of the solution. Now we have to go for the last one that is b equals to 0 that is the exponent has to be 0. So exponent is x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. Now if you solve this you will apply middle term splitting. You can write x square minus 5x as minus 2x minus 3x and then plus 6 equals to 0. Take common from here x and from these two terms take minus 3 as common. So you will get x common x minus 2 and from the second, third and fourth term you will get take minus 3 as common you will get x minus 2 equals to 0. So you have got x minus 2, x minus 2. So we have got x minus 2 and in bracket x minus 3 equals to 0. So either the first bracket will be 0 or the second bracket will be 0 and hence you'll get x equals to 2 or x equals to 3. So at the end of this entire question, what we have got as a solution earlier, which was only looking like that, okay, we'll get x equals to 1. That's only one solution, but no, we have got altogether four solutions. That is x equals to 1 minus 1. So I'll write it here x equals to minus 1, then 1, then 2, then 3. So all these solutions are possible for this x equals uh, means the value of x for which we'll get the output the RHS equals to 1. I hope you like this problem. And if that is the case, so please do like this video and share this video with your friends. Ask them also this question. And let's see the next question. So guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what do you have to do? You have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that sir, I'm not able to solve it kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box, your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you.